Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, I am your host, and before I forget, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and hey, if you like the video, hit that like button too, and give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate the support, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But, on tap for you on this episode, we're going to be tasting and reviewing a Scottish ale from Four Peaks Brewing, and they are located in Tempe, Arizona. So, I figured since we're reviewing a Scottish-style, you know, ale for this episode, I figured, you know... I'm just going to do the entire episode in my Scottish accent. I mean, why not? Look, I'm already wearing the infamous purple shirt. So all I have to do is I put on the scarf and I put on my beret, even though the beret is a bit more French than it is Scottish. But there you have it. Now I look like a proper Scotsman. Actually, I probably look more like a proper Frenchman, but hey, it's all about having fun. And we're just going to have some fun in this episode. So the beer we're reviewing, the Scottish ale, let me grab the can. This is the one, the only. This is the kilt lifter. So, this Scottish ale, this is a Scottish amber ale. Now, this amber ale, this clocks in at 6% ABV, and it's got a measly little IBU of only 21. Now, there is a slight bit of difference between a Scottish ale and a Scotch ale. Now, the Scotch ales, the Scotch ales are generally fuller bodied, and they have a higher ABV right in the round between 8%, maybe up to 9%, 9.5%, where the Scottish sales, like this one, these are generally a lighter body mouth feel, and they have a lower AVV. They probably, you know, they generally hover around 5%, although this one does clock in at 6%, which that's fine for us Scots, because us Scots, we like the higher ABV. And why is that? Well, on those long, cold, bone-chilling winter nights up in Scotland, Ah, this will keep us warm. And, you know, we need something to cuddle with. This will keep us nice and warm. And we like the effects of the drink, little wee man. That's always for good fun. But, enough of this. I need to crack this beer open because all this talking is making me thirsty. So here we go. I'm cracking it. Let's get the festivity started. A one, two, three. A boom, boom. Ah, a little bit of splash up to the can, but no smoke. And I do think that's the best part of a beer, is opening it. Let me grab my big mug. And we get the nice little pour here. Ah, that should do it for the review. I'll finish the rest later. Oh, so. Nice color on that. I like the color. It's that dark copper, that dark amber. And we have a whopping head. Well over two finger veil of head of carbonation, which is slightly off-white, man. But... Overall, it's a nice looking beer so far. But let's give this a swirl and we give this a nose. Let me grip this the right way. I don't want to drop it. I don't want to spill the beer. There's liquid gold right here. Let's give this a nice little swirl and we'll give this a nose. Get the aromas flowing, man. Oh, we got some nice little aromas coming off this. We're getting some notes of some dark fruit. Ah, there's a little bit of raisin. There's a little bit of plum. And one more nose here, just to make sure. And just a little bit of smoke coming off this. But I'm finally going to swirl it. Enough of this chit-chat. Like I said, I'm getting really, really thirsty over here, man. I really want to take a sip. So you know what? I'm not even going to sip this one. I'm going to take a little bit of a gulp. And let's get the pun. The pun. Let's get the pun. I'm going to get the fun started over here, man. Here we go. Finally, after all that chit-chat. Ah, no, that's what I'm talking about as a Scotsman. Here we go. So, as I said, for starters, definitely a light to medium body mouthfeel. It is not full bodied at all. It's a light to medium mouth, a light to medium mouthfeel. And it's got nice balance. And the flavor profile, I'm getting some of that dark fruit is coming through. Like I said, a little bit of that raisin, a little bit of that plum. But I'm also getting some smoke. And I don't mean like ordinary, ordinary wood smoke. It's more like a peat smoke, like an earthy, mossy kind of swampy smoke, which is nice. I'm going to take another sip, though. I'm just really, really parched. I don't know why. Ah, it is going down nice, though. But as I said, well, the balance is there. You know that I took that back sip. It's actually kind of rounded out by a little 
multi caramel sweetness as well. Yeah, it opened up a little bit. But while well, all these flavors, it's, the balance is pretty nice on all these flavors. My only complaint, us Scots, we like the flavor of the beer. We want it bold. We want it brash. We want it in our face, man. Almost like we're being slapped or punched. Like we're having a little bit of fun in a boxing match. You know, we have one too many of these. Look what happens. Well, we get a little loopy and all. Things happen after that. But I do like this beer, but I just wish the, uh, the flavors were a bit more in your face. So on the pint meter I think I would rate this one. I'm going to give this a solid 7 because, like I said, I do like it. I wish the flavors were in your face. I do like the balance on it. I want to be slapped around by the flavors. I want to taste them. Almost like, like I said, have a few too many and you get to a tumble. But on that note, I'm going to take one more sip. Gulp, though, maybe. Gulp. Ah, yes. I'm finally starting to get, I'm quenching my, I'm certainly finally starting to uh, quench my thirst over here. Whew, I'm getting hot in the scarf too. But on that token, I recommend everyone go buy a few cans. Especially if they're the big ones, like these big 22 ounces, you know. Because, on, like I said, on those cold Scottish nights, you can cuddle with a few of these and they keep you nice and warm. So on that token, to end this review, I'm going to give this a 7 on the Pintometer, as I mentioned. And on that token, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this episode of The Booze Geek. And putting up with me in being silly in my Scottish accent. But, as always, you can follow me at the website, which is www.pubstohaveapintin.com. Or at the blog, which is www.pubstohaveapintin.blogspot.com. And on that note, we will see you on the next episode. So everyone, raise a mug. Cheers. Prost. And enjoy.